All right, so sealing is done, and now we're ready to paint the trim. This trim has already been prepped, so we caulked in everything. We wood putted what we needed to. Everything's been sanded, and we also vacuumed it. So we're ready to paint. I've got my edging container set up, conveniently labeled. Uh, also, uh, I'm starting with a brand new uh, Corona Cortez two-inch brush, and uh, I also I put a little mark on mine um, right there, if you can see that. I just striped the handle um, with this little one stripe, and that way I know it's mine because Josh and I will be using the exact same brush, uh, and it's just a good way to make sure that you are cleaning out your own brush. Even if you're working for yourself in your house, if you happen to be painting with uh, a loved one or a friend or whatever. It's just nice to keep track of your own brushes. That way no one gets mad at each other for gunking up somebody else's brush. So yeah, uh, I'm using a two inch. I usually use a two and a half, but Josh and I are both gonna use twos because a lot of people prefer two inch brushes for trim work. So I'm gonna paint this window and uh, this is actually a vinyl window. So I don't need to paint this whole piece. I just need to paint the trim around it. And um, you know, it's, it's kind of similar to cutting in, but I'm not gonna tape any of this. If you're uncomfortable with uh, cutting a clean line right here, then you can tape uh, the vinyl. Um, but um, it, latex paint doesn't stick to vinyl very well, so it's really easy to clean up with a blue paper towel or just your finger. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna work from uh, left to right, and I'm gonna do basically the top part here. I'm gonna come up the side, do the top, and then I'll do the sill, and I'm gonna do the top of the sill last. As you're painting any um, trim that's going into the wall, I wanna make sure that I get a decent amount of trim paint on the wall, just like we did when we cut in the ceiling, uh, because we're gonna cut our straight line with the wall finish paint. Some painters like to do the trim last, and that's totally fine. That's just a different way of doing things. And we're gonna show you guys why we like doing it this way. Um, Josh and I have just settled on this method over the years where we do uh, the ceiling and the trim first and we do the walls last so here we go and I'm using my favorite trim paint of all time which is duration semi-gloss from Sharon Williams and this is just the untinted super white and it's kind of similar to rolling when you load the brush you don't want to start it too close to an edge that you're trying to keep straight or else you won't have enough room to spread that paint out, so and I'm just gonna start it here. And I'm gonna come around and cut the clean interior line. And you might not be able to do it as quickly as I'm doing it, and that's okay, take your time. And if the whole window is wood, then you don't even have to worry about this. You'll just be getting, you'll be painting everything, including the, uh, the window and all that good stuff. And when you're, when you're painting trim, you want to go with the grain and you want to have, uh, you want the brush strokes to be feathered so that it looks like one long, clean brush stroke, not like a bunch of little choppy ones. So you'll notice there's no real like lap marks or any brush lines. It's just one clean feathered brush stroke uh, from top to bottom. And you're, you're pretty much going to go with the grain, which means like the grain is running this way on this piece of trim this way on this piece of trim, so that's the way I'm gonna brush as well. So now I'm just going to work out the paint, make sure it's got covering everything I need to. And again, we're going to do two coats on this. And sometimes you might even find some little pinholes and stuff that are in here. A lot of times you can just kind of daub some paint in there and it will fill in a decent amount of these holes. And just brush that out so it's nice and smooth. Give it a once over. That's what I really like this duration semi-gloss because it's got a really good open time on it. So you can, at the workability, it gives you a lot of time to, to get it right and work with it. So there you go. That's one, one coat on all of this. Again, we're going to do two coats on all the trim, but uh, there is a, a nice window frame and sill done for you. All 
Alrighty, so I'm about to paint the baseboard here and one of the things that I like to do is just pull the drop cloth back a little bit um, so I can get a clean sight line into the bottom of this baseboard. Um, when you're painting up against carpet, you really want to be, I'm pretty confident in my brushwork, so I'm not going to tape off anything. And a lot of times taping the carpet uh, doesn't always work, depending on what type of tape you're doing. So just be careful, and it is latex paint, so you can get it out of carpet with a little bit of water, uh, spit and a rag, and a couple other ways. But um, I'm just going to freehand this, and again, when we're doing trim, this is the first coat, but we want to get uh, paint up on the wall because we're actually going to tape this baseboard off when we go to paint the walls. And we need the paint to have rolled up a little bit onto the wall so that we get a nice straight line when we go to uh, do our top coats of the wall. So I'm going to work from left to right. And again, when you load the brush, don't start it too close to the wall or uh, too close to like any edge. You kind of want to start it in the middle. And then uh, generally, you'll see the pattern that I go in, but I usually brush towards the bottom and then I'll kind of do a one pass over it once I've got my bases covered. So. When I paint, I'm just gonna come to the inside, since we're not doing the inside of these closets, I'm just gonna take the paint to this inside uh, piece of this frame, so right, right here. On the door frame, I'm going to start in the corner. I'm going to work my way down and then I'm going to come across uh, again, staying with the grain. Careful around the hinges. And because this corner, this door casing is so close to the wall, it's not super important that I get this edge right here. So I'm just gonna keep on keeping on here. All right, now I'm gonna open the door up. So I'm just taking it to this front lip here. We don't want to paint this part of that because that's technically outside. Um, that's like part of the hallway trim, technically. So I'm going to paint around this hinge. You can tape this pretty easily, um, but uh, that already has a lot of paint on it. So I'm just going to paint around it. I'm holding the camera, so this is pretty, pretty awesome. All right, so basically you just kind of feather your brush right into this edge. Boom, and you're good to go. Okay.
amazing.